Misa gave testimony at the PIC Commission of Inquiry this morning. He said he became concerned about the PIC following anonymous tip-offs of possible wrongdoing and media reports of dodgy transactions that implicated management and the board of the PIC. He said he wrote to the public protector, the President Cyril Ramaphosa and Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, asking them to give attention to allegations of impropriety at the PIC. Our reporter Gloria Sifako Musi caught up with General Holomisa after his testimony. United Democratic Movement, Bantu Holomisa, took the stand at the PIC Commission this morning. He raised concerns about uh, there seems to be a select few that seem to be continuously benefiting from the funds of the PIC. Uh, the, Mr. Holomisa has also called for the president to extend the time of the commission that it, the commission has been given to investigate into allegations of impropriety at the PIC. It's also called for more expertise so that uh, more and more skills so that uh, uh, the commission is able to dig deeper into allegations of uh, impropriety at the fund manager. Well, to take this further, we are joined now by General Holomisa. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, You've described the PIC as being in a state, an, an ICU state. Can you take us through that, please? Given the evidence which have been uh, presented to the PIC by many witnesses, including the PIC employees and ex-employees, as well as the nauseating exposés we have been reading about in the newspapers in the last two years, Definitely, the PIC can be described that it is really in the ICU, especially that today it has no CEO and it has no board either. So we need to tell the government to effectively address the issue of the board as soon as possible. Um, there seems to be frameworks and structures to ensure good governance at the PIC, but this, uh, from the testimonies that we've heard, doesn't seem to be working. What would you say has gone wrong? Well, unfortunately, I think uh, the former CEO uh, so far seemed to have uh, usurped all the powers to himself. We have heard, for instance, that some transactions would be approved without the endorsement or, or having been referred to a relevant committee. Remember here that these are pension funds of the soldiers, nurses, teachers, you name them, uh, who are supposed to be invested properly so that if that fund grows, they would get more money when they get their pensions. But we are told that uh, these monies have not been paid back. They have been written, they, some have been written off. I don't think uh, we should continue under the present situation. What's your take on government having a say in the runnings of uh, the PIC, the Deputy Finance Minister automatically being the chair of the fund manager? Uh, so far we have seen that uh, some people who were chairing uh, PIC as political heads in their capacities as deputy ministers, either themselves or their families have managed to have access to these funds easily as compared to other people. So really a conflict of interest is we are able to identify in these circumstances. Therefore in future let us not have a political party, I mean a politician to head the PIC. Rather, if Treasury wants to guard their interest, they should a second or attach a, to the board someone who ha has expertise from the department, from within Treasury Department. You have also called on the president to extend uh, the, the time that has been given to the commission to do its, its, um, its work. What are your concerns? My concerns are that uh, the president must be aware that the Department of Justice didn't play a good game in this, in in this inquiry. He made an announcement last year and gave time frames. But guess what? 
The commission only started in January, February. All we are asking for from President Cyril Ramaphosa is for him to revise his time frames and that the commission itself must produce an interim report, which, among other things, is going to say, Mr. President, we need to dig deeper. The crisis is, is, is deep, and therefore we need to have expertise in this field. If, otherwise, if he doesn't do that, this would be a fruitless exercise. What are the sort of recommendations that, that you would hope that will come out of this commission? One, I hope that uh, we could uh, stop with immediate, suspend immediately the question of these unlisted transactions, which runs into billions, and that the commission should summon the administration of PIC for a printout of these unlisted transactions to check whether they are being serviced. Where are they invested? Are they performing in those investments? Number three, the workers of the former employees of the TBVC states, Transkai, Boputazwane, Venda, and Siskai, they are complaining that they have not received their pensions, which uh, the, the government employment pension fund is playing uh, hide and seek with the national treasure. We say they must open up a line and get information directed to those people who have not been given their pensions. In other words, they must assist those employees. Lastly, this commission, I would be happy if they were to come up with a finding to say, never again shall this institution, shall the, the monies of the pensioners be so carelessly invested. General Holomisa, thank you very much for your time. Well, uh, that was uh, General Bantu Holomisa. He gave testimony here at the commission this morning. Now, the commission has been adjourned until next week, Monday the 25th, where we'll hear more testimonies uh, from other people, from the PIC and other related stakeholders. It's back to you.